There are three DLCs currently in Stormarks, all of which cost a Canadian $12.99. The Weapons DLC, the Industrial Frontier DLC, and the Space DLC. Are any of them worth buying? The Weapons DLC adds, well, weapons such as guns and artillery cannons. You can buy this if you want to wage war with the AI. Fighting the enemy AI works better in multiplayer, but can also be done solo. You should buy this if you want to spice up your Stormers gameplay with some action. Don't buy it if you like the chill aspects of the game. The Industrial Frontier DLC adds more land for you to explore, along with hundreds of kilometers of train lines and roads, including loops, switching stations, storage yards, bridges, and more. The DLC adds more mining features through the exclusive mining drill. The DLC adds more wildlife, such as deer, badgers, horses, hares, farm animals such as cattle, sheep, goats, and pet dogs, as well as aggressive animals such as various types of bears, wolves, and more. This DLC is great if you are bored with the current missions or land available in the game. The space DLC is tougher to decide on. On release, the DLC, along with the free regular update, was full of bugs. I'm not sure the community even found them all. I made a video on that situation, so check it out for more info. The space DLC adds space as well as the moon, as well as new components to build spacecraft, as well as new outfits for space exploration. This DLC is useful if you want to spice up your building game, to build rockets to go to the moon, or even just to have a dogfight with your friends in space. I don't know. If you don't mind spending the money, I'd recommend just buying all of them. All the DLCs, past, present, and future, will add to the things you can do to the game and will in the long term make your gameplay better.